Let's now look into a video to illustrate omni-channel flexible manufacturing. We are going to see a manufacturer that was selling only through retail in larger pallet quantities. But now they have opened up a new channel to sell to consumers directly. Here we have Alex, who is buying something from the manufacturer online. The manufacturer or distribution center will now not only have their lines grouping products in larger pallet quantities, but they also need to find a way to stage individual online orders. The first step in the process is an ABB Delta robot staging a steady flow of single SKUs on a BNR Occupost track. The flexible Occupost track then sorts the different shuttles into the necessary sequence. This sequence can be of identical SKUs for a single SKU pallet, or it can be just two individual products for sorting and staging an individual order. In the same network of the Occupost track and the robots, orders are being sorted and sequenced to be packed into individual cases. These cases can be for three different routes. It can be a single SKU case for a single SKU pallet for a retail distribution center. It can be a single SKU case that goes into a mixed case pallet to ship directly to a store, or it can be the individual order from Alex, which will be home delivered. So we're trying to illustrate with this combination of Picker Robots 5-axis packers and the Occupost track, how a manufacturer can reshuffle its outbound fulfillment with secondary packaging that enables it to run three different ways while keeping its individual production and primary packaging lines running. Now Alex's package has been sorted through one of the three lanes and is going into the van. So you don't need anything extra. Through the last mile operator, Alex's package will be delivered in minimal time. The manufacturer has kept its back end and production lines operating as always. They have just added valuable flexibility to their outbound fulfillment operation. At the same time, this manufacturer is continuing to serve its larger customers, but they maintain the opportunity to do some direct business with its middle-sized customers. For example, if this was a bakery producer and it wanted to serve a hospital, it can have a direct business with the hospital through its website. So again, they still pack single SKU cases, but in this scenario, they are grouped on a mixed pallet and sent with the middle truck directly to the customer. So, direct to consumer is not only individual orders, but can also be medium-sized orders. Hospitals, schools, you name it. And still, of course, the big chunk of the company's business will come through retail. So single SKU pallets are definitely required. The flexibility also has to happen in the material flow. We now have the ASTI product line portfolio of AMRs, which gives the additional flexibility needed to fully unleash the complete automation system. Just imagine this picture. Instead of an empty floor after the palletizer, you would need to have multiple conveyors to deliver the different routes. It is simply impossible. The flexibility of the material flow. That's why the ASTI acquisition is so important. AMRs will be crucial to deliver this flexibility from end to end.